Hello there everyone and welcome to another episode of this Dwarves of Eridluin campaign. Now, one of the things you might have heard me ending up the turn, that's because, you know, I'm ending up the turn because I'm only moving troops to the Inithwaith border, to our Inithwaith border. And right now we're starting to lose money because, well, you know, I'm moving all my troops and I stopped just having them on uh, uh, on free upkeep or anything, you know. So I had just them stationed on nearby cities to take advantage of the uh, of the free upkeep. But right now it's time to go to war. It's time to spend all money as that. So we are losing some money right now. I did set a lot of things to build, like this merchant bank. And on Sharon and Austin Lil did build the dearth paths, so probably we will start winning a little bit more money. Still, we're gonna have you know some sick army compositions because you know that's how that's how these guys roll, you know. So on that regard, I do have a lot of units who are now moving in. You know, I'm actually moving in these guys because I realized that, yeah, I could use some ballistas on that front. However, I didn't leave anything here on Kardum or Angsu, just militia troops. These are only two, you know, I can replenish with those troops if I need to. Uh, for now, what I'm doing is just moving everyone in. And I'm moving everyone in because there's a lot of troops to fight with. Hang on a second, let me show you. So, right now, Bree is actually attacking the Inner Ways, and I am going to attack them as well. However, there's a lot of places here. This is a Bree land, there's a Bree uh, place, but, you know, it's from Bree, it's not from the clans of Inner Ways. And it's a bummer, it's a bummer because, as you can see, there's a lot of Inner Ways armies, and you're going to see even more nearby. Okay, there's one of them. I'm gonna have to show you a couple of units. Now these are only river units. You know, river units not really that good. Um, they will fall easily, I mean. However, we still have our good units and our good troops forming up. Now, I'll, of course I'll have, you know, a major army with everything in, but for now I'm just moving everyone that I can. That's it. You can't move, you can't, you can't, no problem. Let me just confirm these guys. I'm actually going to tell them to move automatically. Now, not a lot on the other side, only, you know, I'm investigating here more about us and Khan and Green. There's a lot of troops from in libraries right there. I guess I can move here and check out on both places. That's nice. Now, there's some um, Imladris armies as well. And the Veilsmen don't do too much. I don't know if I have any other agents. I would like to have one here, for instance. Let me just spot if that's a neutral settlement. Of course, I know there is a castle right here. So I'll have to check that out. Now, for now, it's just an end turn. I'm still uh, reaching out with everything that I have. You know, I was thinking, well, maybe I'm going to cut this out, but I wanted to show you why we're going to lose a lot of money. That's just because of the upkeep that we're having. You know, I took advantage of having that uh, that enormous amount of money to just build units uh, on that uh, on that moment. You know, it's, I started building up some expensive buildings such as mines and such, but it still hasn't um, leveled it up. Um, the idea usually you never want to be too far stray in, in losing that money. You know, you want it to to be something like, if you're under two thousand, that's good, for instance, because any city that you conquer will already give you enough money and will start producing upkeep enough for for that. The council is even helping me out with some money, which is pretty cool. Now, there's some good relations everywhere. Uh, everyone is happy. They won't be happy once I attack them. Linden does have interesting units. These Teleri Riders... That horse seems so strange. Now, there's a lot of armies from... Yeah, from uh, the Elves right here. Doesn't matter too much. We're not fighting the Elves. Not on this one, you know. Not on this one. 
Alright, let me keep moving Eyes. everyone in. Do I have anything? Eyes. Yeah, I need you. Move out. Now, forward. most of my troops are, of course, kind of militia uh, type troops. But I, I do have some uh, specific interesting units there, such as the... Um, such Eyes, such as the blue mo the oh, sorry the where are they yeah the Edelun warriors even though these guys are militia you know the fact that you can make the shield wall has proven very effective you know? so that's one Eyes, unit that I don't Eyes, mind having Eyes, as militia Eyes, Eyes. now they're comparable to let's say Gondor militia all right indeed Framsburg is still a neutral settlement I could actually move my troops from Gundabad and try and take Framsburg. However, I think that would brought me way too close to their borders. Maybe they that would incite them to attack, and I kind of prefer to defend on Gundabad, you know, because it, whenever I attack there on Gundabad, it seems like I would be, I would be going downhill. If they strike me, you know, if there's a betrayal here near Gundabad, if they will strike me, then I think that uh, it wouldn't matter too much, honestly. Uh, I would be. Uh, it would be fairly easy to defend there on Gundabad and not on Franzburg. Franzburg, the only thing would be the river, I believe. And there's some interesting heavy goblin archers with gathering with stool sheriffs and burnings. Wow, amazing. Okay, construction complete on Gundabad, the mining complex. I believe we're gonna start having better income regarding that, of course. Glein has come of age. Oh, he's over here. And he really is a pain. Now, I think I should send this uh, general out of here. And just have this guy here. That's it. Barqueta can upgrade. I require 1504. That's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. End of turn. Of course, I'm losing money. That's fine. You've seen me plenty of times, guys. It's just how to say. I can gain that money in a couple of turns. Oh, he's attacking the other towers? Now, that's some interesting unit from the end. It's the Wood Wardens. These are the basic standard units that they will have. They do have the River Elders, which are even better. Skilled against mounts. The good thing is that I don't have anything against mounts. Now, most of their units are skilled against mounts, and I don't have any. So I guess I'm in an advantage right there. Oh, the Grey Havens. There we have them. Now pretty sure that he might that he won't have too many troops there. We're already moving here. I'm gonna have to merge all my units and to start replenishing some of the, the other ones. But we have more than enough for that. Hey, dude, just in case I forget about you, just go over there. Alright, it's time for an end turn. Only skipping the end turns right now, guys. So, in preparation for this, uh, the, this uh, war, uh, what I thought, I was thinking, you know, how can I deal with that? It's basically archer armies, uh, actually. You know, five units of archers won't be too much. Uh, perhaps some ballistas to get rid of some specific units. But, you know, the idea usually against the clans of Ender is I would take cavalry, but I have so few cavalry that I'll have to do it some, you know, on some other form. Most of my armies will always be uh, infantry based, you know. But I can have a lot of archers on these dwarf armies, and it will still do pretty well. I'm kind of bummed. I don't have crossbowmen, if I'm not mistaken. I, I have tried to get them, but I don't know if I can get them. Well, losing some money. Now it's starting to. Now it's starting to annoy me. It's a lot of money right now. I could have been sending this guy. Oh, that was ridiculous. But for now, we are almost there with my Move troops. I yeah, so Lord. everything should I be Lord. should be fine. Alright, let me just Marching spot down. over here. I Do they have... Did they conquer? I no, came. they were repelled. Pretty, pretty sure. 
This guy is going in. This guy is going in. All right. We have some other troops here. Now let's just gather like I used to do, which is gather the troop types. Not yet, but on the, the next turn, yes. Let's take advantage of that movement. That's it. Then I'll arrive with these two armies and I'll have to split them up with the other generals. I like having, you know, a good uh, overall units. Let me trade here, or let me uh, end the turn here. Hang on a second, guys. I'm having a, I'm having a little bit of a cold, so whenever there's an end turn, I'm going to take advantage of that. There's a bride, and she has beard. She has a beard. She's cute, but she has a beard. You know. Even though we have blades everywhere, so I guess we can fix that. Uh, oh well, let's just My keep king. moving this guy. Come on. There we go. My king. I. I lord. Onward. Let's move through Onward. there. Onward. Let's see if I can reach over here. That's Onward. it. Onward. You're reaching out. That's Onward. cool. No, I don't have any other units here. Now you might see that uh, see that money. I already have everything on on good. Uh, you know, I already have everything on really high taxes, so there's nothing I can do. Of course, as soon as I start losing some money, then, then I'll, I'll be fine. Let's just show you how I like to do things, you know, I like to divide the troops like this, you know, the archer units, let's divide them here, there we go, where's the cavalry units, oh hi there, there we go. okay, we still have some archers, look at the amount of archers, now the generals, I'm gonna put them here. I'm gonna put this guy here. There's the other dude, and this. Do I need this guy? No, I think I can. I think I can have him. All right. So I still have these archers. Let me move them here. Do I have any travelers here? No. Not really. My king. What I do want to check is where is my, my cavalry? There's the cavalry. There we go. I, my so that's only one, two, three I, units, I believe. I, my that's it. Actually, let's do like this. Let's actually merge all my uh, generals and just put everything on one at a time. I guess that's the best idea. My king, let's join up over here, let's join over there, and you're gonna join them. Well, you can't, there's no problem. No problem at all. You can't join as well, no problem. That way I'm going to lose some money there, but it doesn't matter. Right, this is uh, some more infantry units, right, that's fine. Units, those guys are there, that's okay. Still gonna lose some money, doesn't matter. Now these guys are just going to reinforce. These guys are fine. You know, I have to remember these two specific units. Next turn, I can reach there. Don't mind too much about the money, guys. Uh, do consider that you can either have, you know, a good economy, economy when you see yourself gaining more money and you, you know, it just you just keep building buildings or you can have more troops than it actually you should be having at this moment that's what I thought about you know I thought okay let me take advantage and just build up a lot of forces that way I can 
initiate the attack earlier than what I should be usually. You know, the only thing that you run out on this, that the only thing that you have with this strategy is that you might run out of steam at some point, you know, because you're going to require some reinforcements and you're still recovering on the economy. So it's a pretty difficult thing to balance out. That I, I don't know if you're understanding. You can have this. There's no problem. You know, you're losing money, but it doesn't take you away any units. No one rebels. No one goes away, you know. So why shouldn't you you have more units than what you should, you know? That's the thinking. Right there. Yes, that's the, the idea behind this. Okay, let's move, move over there. I don't want to go too close to the uh, to them to the other, you know, to Bree or anything. Let me just check out everything. It seems like they still have this city. They won't capture Kanas. Uh, Nurlanet. It doesn't seem like it. Something to Let me just check if Dree has it many forces. It doesn't actually. It might. It might fall if he doesn't react soon, which would be interesting. Well, there, there is the reaction. They are sending their troops. All right. Let's keep sending all of these units. I sign. I lord. Still losing a lot of money. Uh, now, this general, I could actually already do that. Well, there's a lot of archers. That's a lot of archers. Doesn't matter. Let's do that on the next turn. You know. Oh! Even. That's good that I keep sending this guy in. And there goes almost an episode. Come on. Amazing. Okay, Fremsburg is attacking right there. And, uh, is being attacked by the Veilsman. I'm allied with the Veilsman, so there's no problem, you know. So far, they can have that city. Actually, I kind of prefer. If I have to fight someone, let it be the Veilsman and not the, the Elves. Because those are the, the, the enemies that, you know, if they have plenty of units, then I'll be in trouble. Right, I was predicting maybe to be losing something like. Um, to be on the losing side in terms of money, like around 15k. That is actually double right now, so I really have to take uh, uh, to go and conquer some places as fast as possible. Of course, we're, I'm really losing money because of all these units. Come on, keep moving those dudes. And there we go. Now, we... What do I want to do? There's some ballistas there. There's some infantry here. Let's move this guy. Some more archers. There we go. Some more archers even. Let's just divide them. Right, so I have 20, 25, 30, 34 archers. 34 archers. If I divide only five archers each army, that would mean five, six armies actually. Yeah, that's four armies right there. Six armies, and then well, I can actually have six per army, and then have six armies exactly. And how many generals do I have? I have one, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's great. You know, I do have this guy, but there, there's right, one of one over here that's really not that good. So I can just have these guys as, you know, generals. Right, that's cool. So, six archer units per unit. Let me give them the best uh, archers. Let me give me my clan lord the best archers. By the way, I didn't merge units. I had to merge these guys. That's it. Now, how many archers does he need? Three more. Oh, there's... There are some. Let's merge. Thank you. Now, there's these two archers. Let's go. That's four. And I like these travelers. So, let me put them the travelers down. So, that's six. Good. Where's the next general? There we go. There we go. Six archers. Good. My king, let's go over here and let's have more six more archers. My king, I sire, I 
Here we go, six more archers. Here we go. Now I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna use this guy instead, so let's move, just move him there. Now I don't have a lot of cavalry, let's just merge them. And have one on each of these other cavalry troops. You know. There we go. Still have plenty of forces here. Yeah, this is for the infantry based stuff. I can have one catapult on each of those armies. I think I'm going to leave that, you know, instead of having uh, cavalry units and artillery units on the same, I'm not going to have that. There we go. Now, this is mostly, you know, infantry. Mostly not heavy infantry. I mean. My king. Let me take away the infantry that's completely militia based. Move out. I I Lord. Just I so I have an idea I of how many how I many infantry specialized infantry I have. I now I these Lord. guys I consider them specialized infantry. Let's merge. Let's go. I I I Lord. Still have plenty of those. Hang on a second, let's go. Let's merge. Let's merge. That's fine. Merged. That's good. So that's the specialized infantry. That's the other ones. Good. Oh, I still have one of these. Right. Yeah, no problem. Let's end up the turn and wait for these guys. Yep. So one more turn, and then I'll have six armies, guys. Six armies at this time in the game with the, all the, the specialized armies. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. I'm predicting maybe one or two cities will provide me the income to recover my economy. And with that, we'll be fine. We'll be able to start building up my economy once more. Um, yeah, that'll be fine. So I guess that'll be it for today, you know, I just wanted to explain the decisions that I'm doing and how I'm dividing and preparing for this war with the Uh One thing I would like to note, um, on my playthroughs are going, to, are going to change a little bit. And I'm going to make the announcement um, in the following days. I, I believe I might have already at this moment. Uh, one of the things... Oh, the King of Rohan is there. One of the things that I wanted, I always wanted to do that, and I always fail. At, at some point, I know I get overloaded, and I thought, I think, okay, let let me just record it. But right now, I'm going to start doing things a little bit different, so that you know, less videos, but more quality. You know, that's that's what I'm trying to to say there. Overall, that's the idea. Okay, didn't lose too much money regarding the last one. Rohan has been completely destroyed. Oh. So that's going to be interesting to hear about whoever did that. All right. So, yeah, I guess that will be it, guys. I'm just going to, you know, keep uh, replenishing everything here. You know, having all the, the best troops on one army shouldn't be the best idea. You know, I'm going to try to divide the best troops and the militia troops uh, evenly. So that will be it for today, guys. I'm going to watch you on the next episode where... Probably we will already be uh, advancing with one army here on Dolvorn. Poor guys, they don't have anything. They have a lot of population though. Um, and we're also going to have uh, be attacking here on Kor Wilsha. That's the best idea. You know, they do have some river swordsmen, which are basic troops, but their infantry is nothing against ours. So the like even the these. Uh, Grateful Raiders. They're quite effective against armor. That's the best unit that he has against me, I believe. Or even these guys, the Engram Raiders. You know, their javelin troops are the best units that they can, that he can muster against my troops. But even then, they, it won't pay off. It won't pay off too much. Alright guys, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Cheers!